Ooh. Oh shit, is it on? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Hello friends. And enemies, I guess. <laughs> Since they waste their time on this for some reason. I don't know why anyone does. Uh, I'd like to start uh, with some some reader mail. That's right, we got Foley now. What? Uh, let's see. Dear Ash and Evie, in the previous episode, you were in industrial zone, and there was a red key right on the fucking screen, and you both failed to notice it, you morons. Wait, well, did that happen? That did happen. I went back and watched it, and we just totally missed a red key. Um, yeah, I'll totally take responsibility for that. That's, that's how am channel. I supposed to know my how fault. to play a video game? Uh, let's see. Next letter. Uh, this sucks. You suck. Get a job. Thanks, Mom. I'm glad you're watching. Um, <laughs> Alright, that's enough reader mail. Oh, your mom sucks! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry. <laughs> oh, what? what? I thought I got to the next level. You did. Oh, it would be in the auto the autosave slot. Um, one of those autosave top one, top one. That. No, wait, bottom one. Sorry. There you go. Oh, dude, with his butt. <laughs> Something like that. <sighs> All right, I don't remember. Good. Uh, last time we saw the gotcha, and also oh, some stuff. This right. is this is technically the last of the city maps. Um, Was it on the other side? You can drop off the the back there. So I'm sure someone's about to yell at me that this is not actually episode three, but uh, fuck you, it totally is. It's a giant pool of blood lock. This is not a city anymore. Wait, what? We transition into hell after this map, but this is clearly like very hellish design. Oh. Cool. I I think this map is by Romero, which is kind of funny because um, there's just like a lot of weird nonsense in it. But I, I guess even the... This is weird. Yeah, even the kind of like sandy like little bits like this still feel more structured like Romero, so I don't know. It's, it's so weird how their brands of nonsense are distinctly different. Mm -mm. <gasps> Shit, it was the wrong button! <laughs> that was the wrong button. <laughs> F6. <laughs> oh, no. What did you even press? Quick load is F9. Oh, I guess F3 or something is regular load. Damn. I really bungled that one up. Well, we've now seen this. This is the fourth time we're starting this map, and you've done something completely different every time. <laughs> this game is versatile. Is there something that way? I don't know. There's just kind of stuff in places. I think you can do this whole map in like 45 seconds or something, but the progression's just kind of scattershot and a bit weird. Seems like it. Yeah, I might want to find a plan to get out of the, the blood slime. Yeah, I'm already doing it. I'm gonna tell me what to do. <sighs> wow, that worked much better. Six. That says load at the top. F6. Yeah, yeah, I got it this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that says F6 on Okay, it. <laughs> but that's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to hit 3, not F3. Oh. 
I do love fucking back in the day games just it was all function keys like anyone can remember that crap 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 gotcha Holy shit! By the way, Cyberdemon always fires three rockets. Also, rockets hurt a lot. Whatever. Oh no. Whatever. Oh no! This is gonna take an hour. Cool story, when I was in like... Oh! Third or fourth grade or something... Um... I, I had a, a computer class that was like word perfect for DOS 4.0 or something. On computers that already had Windows 3.1 installed, which we weren't allowed to run. And after a couple weeks of being taught how to memorize fucking Shift F7 is save or something stupid, um, I found out if you pressed Alt, there's a menu bar. But, but the entire class was just memorizing function keys. And then of course, nobody used that anymore because we all had Word 95. Well, that went... It went swimmingly. It went. You know what? I'm tired of your constant crit- Look how much health and armor I have. Oh, fuck. It went great. Okay, nice. I cannot believe this shit. Oh, come on. You never use rockets. Why would I use rockets? Because you got 73 of them. You could kill everything in this map with 73 rockets. Except the bosses, I guess. It takes five rockets to kill basically anything, max. Oh, that dude's running. Oh yeah, he's the third fastest in the game. Wow, this is a mess. Is the game audio too loud? I think my Volume's higher than it was yesterday. Fuck off! Fuck off! Absolute ass. I'm just- I'm in love with this no rocket launcher run of Doom 2. Why would I use rocket launchers? You've not answered that yet. Because they do a lot of damage. They're hard to aim. Not really, they fly pretty quick. Oh, you're right. You're the one playing the game. Oh, you're right. I've never played this game before. Okay, that doesn't change anything about what I said, that they're hard to aim. Damn. This weapon's no. hard for me. Well, actually, you'll find that because it's not hard for me, it's not hard for you. Well, <laughs> you're about to run out of options. Crap. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Cannot believe this. Okay. Also, the archfile stops moving while he's casting his spell or whatever. What? What? Yeah, that teleports you back to the beginning. Oh, right. This game has pain elementals, so it's really weird when there's just one lost soul hanging around. Like, where, where'd you come from, little guy? Just... he lost? Oh yeah, they see you. Don't worry. <laughs> really? Well, if they make the noise, then they've woken up, yeah. Leave me alone. This sucks. I'm I don't entirely understand why you didn't make them in fight. I don't know how. You just gotta be in like the mastermind's like line of sight so it'll start shooting you and then like 
sort of lure it into shooting the cyber demon. Who will then retaliate. How do I do that when they see me immediately? Well. Well, what? That, that was a dramatic pause while we do this bit again. Uh, just like, go in and immediately run to the stairs on the right. And now kind of like, like straight around a bit so the spider sees you eventually. Well, yeah, and now just sort of draws fire. Like that dude's rockets get caught on the edge really easily. Okay, shooting them is gonna make this not work. Oh, oh, there you go. But I wasn't shooting them. Oh. I was shooting nearby. So okay. I... Now we just kind of wait. I guess so. This is called dead air. <laughs> I already, on, I already used my commentary for this fight because we already saw it last time. Oh, what commentary? Blah blah. Nice to guess who will win. Mastermind has less health, but has a chain gun, which means it interrupts the Cyber Demon attacks more. Alright. Last time the Cyber Demon won. The Spider Can Master won. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of random. It depends on. Like, because. Cause if it's, Oh, damn! Mama won this time. Uh, yeah, like, like when when something gets shot, it has a chance to interrupt whatever it's doing. So if the cyber demon was about to shoot, but then it got interrupted because it had bullets going into its body, um, then it could um, uh, just completely avoid three rockets. Huh. Which is cool. Probably save. Yeah, I got it. I'm doing it this time. Nice. Yeah, just fucking just blast rockets into the door. I'm trying. That's great. Well, dude who shoots solid objects directly at you is a little risky to do with the uh, rocket launcher, but pretty stylish. Fuck. Oh fuck, I just realized that black line on the wall is from the fucking Spider Master <laughs> shooting the Cyber Demon. Uh oh. This is really hard. It looks awesome though. Well, does it though? Yeah, you did it! Victorious. <laughs> Papaya Lord Victorious. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Get out of here. Okay, what the hell is the point of that? It opened that door. That? Yeah. How do we go over there? Well, I answered that question. With with the lift. Oh, rockets. Oh. <laughs> See, it's also very satisfying. What is it? That dude splattered into nothing. Well, it's quite rude, I think. Hmm. I am not dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, what? I don't remember where anything is or goes here. Why does that put you next to the teleporter instead of on it? Hmm. What happens if you go in there? I don't know. That, I guess. Oh, that's for... to bring that lift down again. What 
the point of this? Uh, to get out. <laughs> you can run off it. No! No! Well... No, 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 no. Wait. Is this a new area? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. That'll be a clip. <laughs> oh no. That wasn't quite what I meant. <laughs> Thank you. You did hit it. It was though. a great shot. Technically, yes, something was hit. That is. Oh, there's the thing. I love how the Lost Soul just kind of slowly spins as it shoots towards you, it looks like. That's gross. I don't bit. like it. You have a weird taste in decor. Um, maybe I should see. Oh, it's dark. Surprise. Oh, like I'm surprised. I think there's a secret in here on like the black wall to the left. Yeah, yeah that's that. Went a bit in dark. Oh, wait, was that something? I don't know, it's too dark. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was kind of in the back there. Oh. Oh! Nice. I have partial knowledge of many things. Ah. Uh. Oh, little fuck. Didn't like that. A lot of arch files just kind of around. Like, I think the last one we saw was in, um... Tenements? And it was in a tiny cage, which you could easily avoid. Now they're just walking around. Okay, okay, okay. What was the point of this again? Well, that's probably actual progression. Alright, shoot these men. Well, I did do that already, so... I and then up. you just run off of this. Why? Because that opens. Which is, again, weird. Also, it's like a little triangle. Welcome to the progression. Here's another weird room. It does, however, um, obey the Geneva Convention. Uh, does it? Yeah. How is that? Um, that electrical panel is a secret. <laughs> no, with the lightning bolt. Excellent. Oh, you don't even need it. Yeah, I guess I'm just that cool. Oh, that one's not. Oh, I will have Romero's head on a stick. It wasn't one? Why? By the way... Ah, ah. Maybe I should mention. Frick of. Hey. Oh yeah, they all exploded because they spawned inside the wall. Oh. Where did they even come from? This little, um, wait. Oh, it went back up. Go up the stairs again. And then go back down. Wait, what? To what? Why is there doors? Um... Yeah? Uh, well, the thing closed. It had a button in it. I feel like that button was important. Um... What do I do? I, I don't... I don't know. Well... 
that is the progression is that teleporter what this one yeah which is weird you have to go back to the closed entrance to continue all right All right, dude, get over here. I guess I'll allow those lightning bolt panels because um, they're platforms, so they're obviously not secrets, but still. You'll allow it, you say? Yeah. Clean doom. I won't report it. I fucking knew it! Huh? <laughs> this time I was prepared. There's monsters, surprise. I love their sight sounds, which sounds almost like a word. Oh, what they see when a, or what they say when you see them? Yeah, just nah. <laughs> Okay, turns on. Like MacGuffin. <laughs> Look at Tony. <laughs> what is that even supposed to mean? I don't know. What the fuck do you think they're saying? I don't know. I don't listen that hard to weird aliens. Yeah, I think this room might be significantly worse on Ultraviolence. What is that? It's a remnant. Charge and chuck. Ha ha ha, dumbass. Dude, apparently the um the revenant sprites were, were cut out slightly wrong. Okay. And there's there's one frame that has two pixels. Just far on the left side in the in the transparent void that are oh. supposed to be at the edge of the previous frame. Oh no. What why do you know this lore? <laughs> why wouldn't I know this I... lore? <laughs> why is that lore anyone knows? I don't know. Um Did I come from is this the No, that's to go back if you want. You came from between the green torches. Come from up here? Oh Whoa. Why? Why? Okay. I guess I'll just jump in this hole. I believe I said the exits start to get weird. Um, yeah, that was gotcha. It's kind of goofy. It seems straightforward, but in a really confusing feeling way and has a lot of side pads and irrelevant stuff. Oh, sure do. And it's Romero. Anyway, time for some lore. You're going through the portal to hell to close the portal to hell mm -hmm. from within hell. Mm -hmm. So now it's not even doomed to see. hell on earth anymore. It's doomed to just hell. Just hell again. Um, okay, how am I supposed to take that? I cannot read it from your emotional tone. What am I, what am I supposed to get from, how am I supposed to feel about that? I, I don't know, it's just funny that they sold the game as, as hell on earth and then a third of it is not on earth. Like a, a solid third. <laughs> this is, okay. <laughs> That's false advertising. This is the goofiest. Which is illegal. The goofiest. <laughs> what? Listen. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I just. <laughs> it's a video game with a title that's mostly accurate. <laughs> it feels related, in a sense, to the, <laughs> to the rest of. I guess. I guess you're still canonically. Dealing with the problem of hell on earth. Mm hmm. Alright, I, I forgive you, Id. This time. But if you do something stupid like release the fourth game and just call it Doom with no number, then I'm gonna be real mad. <laughs> Who would do that? Anyway, welcome to hell. We got a new sky. Oh, I don't like that actually. That's creepy. This is Nirvana. Um, I think it's everyone's least favorite map. Because everyone is fools. 
All right, you're probably correct. It's by Sandy Peterson, known for his mapping controversy. <laughs> um, what does that mean? Uh, it means everyone has very, very divided opinions on on his mapping style. Is that so? I I love it, especially since finding out he's like a tabletop designer. Like. All his like goofy traps and just weird things that, that never work the same way twice that just feel interestingly arbitrary. It's it's very fucking D and D dungeon. Oh, there's some skeleton men. Skeleton. Skeleton. Yeah. I like the the oddly tall teleporter platforms in this map. What is that? I, I don't know. Normally, normally they're 16 tall. He's about 24 tall, which is the highest Doom guy can step. I love that switch. It, no point. It just shows, hey, this is just a room. Um, and he does them consistently throughout this map. Well, okay, that one's 16, but still. <laughs> I don't know what these fucking switches do. <laughs> I think you just hit each of them once, yeah, and then you're good. Uh, that's a lift now. Ob oh, that was totally ob obvious. Obviously. Oh, fuck, did someone just give me 37 triangles? What is, what is 37 triangles? I think, I think that's Twitch bits. Their currency that's like one cent. Someone just gave us 37 cents. Cool. We're making like 37 cents an hour on this. Wow, incredible. Nice. That's enough to buy one pickle. Well, which is what I just ate. Um, you just ate like three or four pickles. Well, no, so I had two. We're in pickle debt so far. <laughs> Hold on, I'm pushing buttons. Wait, I already, did I already push both? No. I don't remember what that repeatable one does. Oh, it probably lowers that rocket launcher. Those both go somewhere? I don't remember. Anyway, this connects back to the starting room, which is weird, actually. Sandy yeah. Peterson usually, like, just has all these disconnected chunks floating in the void. But here, you, like, loop back in a very sort of Romero style. And I really like that about this map. Oh, sorry. This is not a currency. It is just purchased for currency, and its only use is to be exchanged <laughs> back to currency. So what? I don't understand what people are giving us. Technically, it's an asset. I feel like... Hold on. <laughs> Help. I don't like that one. Is that... Is that... Bits? Ah. That's a, is that a gay pride flag? Did you give us 1,500 gay pride flags? I do like that. It is very cool. Uh-oh. I'm trapped. Uh-oh. Surprise, my um, lips. Oh, surprise. Oh, this room is like basically empty on Herbie Plane. Why? Uh, because, I don't know, they just delete a third of the monsters to make it easier. And yeah, look at that fucking just little yellow key just chilling in the corner. Not on like a cool platform or an Thanks. alcove. It's just on, on the floor. Someone dropped it. What's a little wrench mean? Next to their name. Um, oh, I think that means he works there. Oh. Fuck, I don't have jump. Wait, you weren't supposed to be able to do that. Oh my god, you did a, a fucking pickup. You were running so fast that, like, you bumped into the wall a bit, and it let you pick up the Megasphere. Oh. Cool. Turns out I'm a pro gamer. <laughs> Oh, I don't understand where to we, go. We call that Megasphere Skip. <laughs> what? Alright. Um, where I, am I going? I think now you go through the other teleporter back at the beginning. But... Because there were two there. Yeah. I tried that. Oh, you did... Well, you only did one of those. Yeah, I tried that one, but I couldn't go forward. Oh, right. Wait. Yeah you, yeah, you can. You have the yellow key. What are you doing? Oh, that's a yellow thing? I thought it was just impassable forever. I guess this is like the first time you've seen just like a sheet of 
tell our, our key texture. Oh boy, oh boy. They are all stuck ah. on small platforms, so this would be a good place for the uh, rocket launcher also. I love the just the fucking square of health in this map, which you have so far not even needed at all. Well, now I do. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, there's health in this room too, I think. I love how every time somebody has a death animation, you fire one more rocket while it's dying, just in case. Is that a like, thing I do? Yeah, I've, seen, I've noticed you do it a couple times already. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if they're dead or not all the time. Just fucking- and stay dead. Yeah, this is kind of a cool encounter. It's like... I mean, you can you can bail instantly anytime because you come in on a teleporter. Uh, but there's just kind of stuff in all directions that you gotta deal with. And there hasn't been something... I like this in the game so far. Oh, we got 69 flag. So, really funny thing. Clearly you're supposed to have two keys here, but this gap between the blue key things is so big, you can just walk through it. It's not like a sneaky thing or anything. It's just, you can walk in there. So you don't need to get the blue key. Oh, so why didn't they um, do anything about that? I don't know, because <laughs> it's a sandy map. <laughs> Guess it didn't matter so much, huh? Oh, it's over there, huh? Yep. How do you get over there? Um, probably something involving that button and that radiation suit. Just at a guess. Oh, yeah. Well. Oops. <laughs> it's just vibrating now. <laughs> cool S is just <laughs> so cool. Why is there another? It's, well, in case you get stuck running around a lot. What? There's a whole bunch. Yeah, in case you get stuck running around a lot. <gasps> Are all of these? Oh my god. Obviously. Why would they be? And an invulnerability for this room, really. Oh, I wish I had done that earlier. Even though, like, you're not gonna explore this room, probably, until you've killed everything. But I guess now if you play the game again, then... Then you know. Yeah. Parfait. I'm being criticized for getting associate and not knowing what bits are. Listen, buddy, getting associate. What is associate? Associate is like is like a Twitch, like level of. I don't think I think you have to be associate before people can like give you subscriptions or whatever. But all you have to do to get associate is like stream for like five hours within 30 days and have like 20 people in chat on average. Hmm. Or affiliate, whatever. See, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I don't I don't care. Twitch just gave me a thing and I was like, all right, I guess I have this thing now. I still don't understand 90% of the words on Twitch because they just have like 7,000 features that all have a ton of implications and all have to do the same thing. Alright. Alright, I'm keeping my mouth shut because there's there's a cool secret in this room. This reminds me of a puzzle, Luke. Alright, I guess we're not doing that. I think this is another partly oh my god. Okay, on Hermit Plenty you come up here, it's a clusterfuck. There's like chain gun guys in the center. Okay, there we go. Well, it's still a little, a little worse than this. It's like, harrowing. Yeah. Get him. 
supposed to do in commentary? Uh, I don't know. Uh, this map is another weird one. I'm not sure who made it. I think it might... Yeah, it might have actually been Tom Hall or something. Tom Romero? I don't remember. This this feels like the map that never was to me. I didn't do the switch. You didn't. I think you can get back up running on that little platform and doing a little hop across. Yeah. That was far. Whoops. I right, did something. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 it wasn't that it was a Doom map, Doom 1 map. Um, I think in the, the beta copy that Romero gave out, this map was in like the map 5 slot or something. Really? Yeah, it was really early. Which is weird because is it, a hard map? it has kind of goofy architecture. Well, it's harder ultra violence. There's just like a million revenants in that central area and it's hard to get cover. But, uh, I, I, and obviously they made it harder probably when they moved the slot. But yeah, it's just kind of weird. I think this is what that switch did, maybe. But yeah, there's a little compass there. I guess to help orient you. You fucker. Oh no. Oh no. Yikes. I thought you were just like ignoring that imp out of spite. Where was the other one? I think uh, same place, like in in the corner on the left or something. Yeah. How does hell have a north? Is hell a planet? Um, probably. Damn it! I don't remember any of this. How do I... My, Map. Yeah, my knowledge kind of wanes in the, the third episode a bit. Well... Mm. Mm. I don't know, I guess save and pick a corner. I thought that one you went on before was actually correct, but apparently I'm not just clueless, I'm also actively wrong. So I just do something. Oh. Well. Blue door, red key. Bravo. Why is there that tiny cage there? That's so bizarre. And I love this hallway that's like a little sort of covered thing. Like a little rounded ceiling. I think that's even a a, a Baron of Hell in uh, Ultraviolence. I think. Oh my god, this is so complicated. No! Yeah. That looks like a secret. If I ever saw one. Yeah. Good job. Nice. Oh, I didn't know there was another way back here. Uh... Oh wait, we have the red key now. Yeah. Oops, this is the wrong one. Where's the red door, by the way? That was over there then. Wasn't it? Um... Oh yeah, maybe. Come on. Yeah. It's so weird to have this huge locked door here in this just tiny room. <laughs> just sort of awkwardly on the side. Look at this cool, like, slanted ceiling. Whoa. That's how you make slopes in Doom. Is it? Yep. 
Well, I'm done with my pickles. Excellent. All right. Yeah, also, half the maps don't have uh, names anymore. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I love this music, which is Them Bones by Alice in Chains, which I think is actually in Rock Band Oh, this 4. is hell. Yeah, it literally is. This is a sandy map. This is yet another. Oh, I have an idea. I'm just going to give Fuck. it a try. No, I see. But, but he sort of built the whole map around this one single idea, which is kind of new. Oh my god. Oh, serious? don't turn around and look! Why not? Because you're still gonna die! I, I don't know- Why are you- Why are you backseat gaming at because me? Because I could- I could feel the fucking <laughs> pressure wave of explosions coming towards both of us. <laughs> my, it's just a video My life game. is on the line, too. What am I supposed to do over here? Oh, yeah, that's a door texture. And I'm realizing it's not really obvious that it's a door texture. It's super not. How am I supposed to know that? I don't know. It's funny, because I look at it and I'm instinctively like, yeah, door, cool. Yeah, door. But, I mean, it's called, like, Big Door 2 or something. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. No! 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 <laughs> what?! <laughs> this sucks! <laughs> this is great to no. get to see someone experience for the first time, are you kidding me? What are you talking about?! This sucks! This is magical. This is, like... Watching a child discover Santa Claus isn't real. How how is this in any way remotely similar to that? <laughs> well, there's the kind of horror and the no and the barrels. Ex no wait, that that part's just this. Uh, hold on, I gotta take a bite of my candy bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got we gotta take a brief gamer fuel <laughs> recess. Okay, but like this map sucks actually. <laughs> We got a, uh, we got like seven thousand Doritos, and we got them like pressure squeezed into like the size of the three musketeers. Mm. Chat says it's like seeing someone see Space Jam the first time. Uh huh. Is it like that? <laughs> I love this. I love this nonsense. He was just like, you know what? I love barrels. Apparently, he just called them barrels of fun in general, and then of course he named this map barrels of fun. That's kind of hilarious. I would suggest running very fastly down that corridor. Oh, faster than that. There you go. And you just chuck some fucking rockets down there. Cool. You did it. Wow. I'm super good at this game. Good job. First try. Yeah. Well, what are the others out in post? <laughs> There's no post. Um, yep. Um, that's not a secret. It's not. It's and it's repeating. You've misled me for it's the last time. It's repeating and also like it doesn't even line up. The fucking like bolts are half cut off. <laughs> yeah. Sandy was also kind of notoriously sloppy about texturing. <laughs> it's just fucking just whatever. Just throw it on. It's good enough. All right. <laughs> this is kind of interesting because it's not a big barrel trap. There's still barrels. But now, he kind of switches it up with the flaming ones. Um, which are just obstacles. And for some reason look nothing like the other ones. This is very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, it's like you get an audience. An audience? It's like you're up in the wing seat in your balcony. I'm definitely dead. Okay. Hmm. Um, I had a comment about Sandy. 
Don't know what it was. Oh, oh no, it was that I once made a Z Doom version of this flaming barrel that just hurts you periodically if you stand next to it. Which I thought was cool, I guess. Very clever. Yeah, I'm real smart or whatever. Yeah. My idea was take the barrel that's on fire and it's on fire. Oh, that sounds very original. Oh, hey, there's a goat man over there. Who knew? Oh, I see him. Oh, yes. Fluffy says it seems like a great room for the BFG. Um, but oh. I seem to have read that slightly too late. <laughs> that would have been fun, actually. Yeah, know your arsenal. This is my rifle, this is my BFG. This one's for close range, this one's for long. That's Wait. probably not how the song goes. Yeah, is that supposed to be something? <laughs> it's from something. Yeah, also this whole fucking hallway just like kind of rearranged itself a little. Once you once you came at that the top part. Which is super weird. Where you go over there? Oh, I see. What? I love that little makeshift barrier made out of just torches and lava skulls. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> Why do you say that? Like, I'm not gonna get him. <sighs> oh no, I was telling them. No, don't get me! <laughs> They do way too much of that. And doors just kind of open and close. Uh, A little spooky. Yeah. All right, go go down the left side. Do you want to know about a secret? Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Go down the left side, and then there's sort of like divider in the middle, and step on the divider, and then go into the wall. Like, yeah, drop down onto that, sort of, that thing. And then back up into the wall. Nice. Whoa. That's, that's my pro game fact. Thanks. Frequently asked question, is there a megasphere in this wall in Barrels of Fun? Answer, yes. Hey, what does the crown mean Crap. on people in chat? I just realized... Wait. Is that... That's not mod. Where am I? Yeah, by the way, there's two of them in this fucking area. <laughs> oh, the crown means Twitch Prime. Um, which um, gets you free two-day shipping <laughs> on any stream. No! Are you serious? Oh no! no that's not what I meant to do. It seemed very deliberately done. No, it wasn't. It's just an instant reflex. Alright, follow-up question about chat emblems. What is the maximum number of emblems you can have? Because some people have two. Fuck! That's it. I'm over with. Oh my god. I don't like having only 18 health. Stop shooting yourself in the face with the rocket launcher. Blah blah blah, use the rocket launcher. Blah blah blah, don't shoot yourself with the rocket launcher. Yeah, yeah no, uh, generally my tip is shoot everyone else with the rocket launcher. Okay, you can only have, you can only have two badges in the chat, I guess. One for the channel and one for everywhere. God damn it! You're like, blah, blah, blah. Use rockets. I'm like, they're hard to use. I can't aim right. You're like, stop aiming wrong. It's only rockets. Uh, I guess you kind of got me. I tried it your way and it fucking sucked a little. Shh. 
shoot that man. I'm trying, but the man's keep going elsewhere. It's very annoying. No! 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 <gasps> Fuck off! Holy shit! I don't want you. That's uh, his twin brother. Uh, fun fact. Um, the, the Archvile can infight with other stuff. Like, he actually gets distracted more easily than, like, any other monster, I think. Like, as soon as he gets hit, he'll change his target and, and just burn whatever hit him. Um, but nothing will infight with an Archvile. What? Yeah, no one will deliberately turn on and start attacking an Archvile. Because he's their healer. Wait, really? Yeah, he resurrects them. Oh! He makes them all better. So why, why would they attack the doctor? That's just a deliberate decision, just for, like, lore reasons. Which is really cute. And also that kind of annoying, because they're terrible. Yeah, I love that. Meanwhile, like, if you put two spider masterminds next to each other, they will totally infight. <laughs> there's, there's very little chance they will not infight, because their hitboxes are gigantic. And they will certainly hit each other. That makes sense. Why is that a lift? It's just a just a weird shaped little flesh block. Pretty gross, actually. It's so bizarre. It's funny, I don't think I've ever seen anyone play this map and actually like run back after running away from rockets to kill really? it, to collect this stuff. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I guess it feels like if you reach the teleporter and just bail, it's like you're a cool guy running away from an explosion. Oh. <laughs> I don't trust any room in this freaking map. That's fair. Ah. Uh, Here. Oh uh, yeah, if you wanted to go back, I think that's the only way to do it. Uh, so where do you get the whatever key? I don't have a clue. Oh wait. Oh yeah, there's another part somewhere. Where do I go then? You definitely got to get over to the other side and go back to that really? big old room with the arch file, yeah. It's kind of funny, like, obviously there's a lot of little traps in this, but... Uh, I feel like I've played modern maps where every time there's a key, it's this large, ornate fucking room. And, what? and the key is in, in the center of it, surrounded by nothing on a fucking pedestal. And I'm like, hmm. And then 50 revenants teleport in. Ah, oh, good enough. Beat me up, Scotty. Thanks, Scotty. How did I go over there again? Oh nope. my god, what? Come on. <laughs> Got it. Oh yeah, I think that's that's uh, the recording of like little girl saying why, but slowed down dramatically. He doesn't understand why anyone would hurt him. Oh. Chat says I should tell you about um, one hundred thousand revenants. Uh oh. What I love I love the door quietly sealing like it was never there. Um, I don't love that. Anyway, one hundred thousand revenants is a map containing a hundred thousand revenants. Okay, how is that? Well, it just, it has a hundred thousand revenants. Oh, I've already told them about revenant bus. Don't worry, chat. I or, do not remember Or train, that. or whatever. Oh, oh, wait, no, revenant bus was a different thing. Okay, you know, um, you know that fucking stupid game that- You know what this is? This trap. is like fucking breadcrumbs. <laughs> Kinda. You know that stupid uh, desert bus game that Penn and Teller made? 
where you have to drive for like 36 actual real time hours. Wait, Penn and Teller made that? Yeah, it was Penn and Teller's Desert Bus or something. Oh. Uh, well, someone made a Doom map that's basically that, except every f like 12 seconds, a revenant teleports into the back of the bus. Are you for fucking real? Yes. Oh yeah, have fun. What? Also, that's a door. Or whatever. That's not secret. Okay, maybe save. And then, have fun. <laughs> I'm is. scared of saving this slot. It's fine. You got so much health. Now, I would ha, suggest... Ha, ha. I was just doing some circle strafing and not killing the little guys. What? Because oh. they can infight with Mama. Oh no, on Hurt Me Plenty, there's only three of them. There's like seven or eight little babies on Ultra Violence, and then they all just fight each other. It's pretty great. Oh yes, and, and Revenant Trolley is another map that's uh, a set of 32 philosophical quandaries. Mm -hmm. Where Revenant is heading down the tracks towards something, but you can push a button to divert it to something else. Oh, are you else. fucking serious? Yeah, and there's 32 of them. Oh, that's goofy. That's pretty funny, I can't believe you out chain gunned the Spider Mastermind. That's amazing. I am very skilled and talented. Here's another just key, just eh, sitting around, whatever. I don't. I think you can. Well. Where am I going? I don't think you wanted to jump down. I think you want to take the teleporter over there. What? Yeah, in the lava. Down and, here? Yeah. And then and then you want to go around to where the two teleporters are, and one of them is good. And takes you to the exit. Oh, it was not that one. Alright, left one. Nope, nope. End of the thing, yeah. Totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah, don't give me that look. This one? Yeah. That room really emptied out. No. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to take you back to the beginning. <laughs> hey, Sandy, what's up? <laughs> Having some fun with my barrels here. Imagine if you got to this point and you were out of ammo. Oh my god. Nice. Fine. <laughs> oh, and this is the other map everyone hates the most. Why? Well, uh oh. You'll find out. Oh, don't get Sandy Peterson in here for me to half. Jokingly, I don't know, make playful jabs about his maps. I love his maps. I wish he, like Romero's making a, a new Doom episode schedule, whatever. I want Sandy Peterson to make a fucking megawad. You're so goofy. <laughs> you have very strong opinions about. <laughs> about how many maps Sandy Peterson should make? Yes. Yeah. And my opinion is a lot. <laughs> More. Any. Just please. <laughs> Why? Like, what's the overall characteristic you like? Just that they're they're unpredictable. Like all of them feel very different. They all feel like intricate. Like they each feel like a different world that obeys its own little different set of rules. And it feels like just sort of learning, like what stuff does. E e like even though like walking down a hallway opens a door or whatever. Like, I could just look at the map editor and be like, yes, mechanically, I get it. But actually doing it and, like, learning that by walking around the level and fumbling into things awkwardly, 
just feels really cool. Like like every every map he makes is its own tiny puzzle. This is called Hate Rip Walking. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> That's ominous. Oh, con oh yeah. Oh fuck surprise. off. I love how the the fucking thing they're in. They're slightly too low to shoot at you. Like, is that a deliberate choice or just kind of whoops? I fucked up. Because it does mean they have to take a minute to rise, and while they're doing that, you can shoot them, which makes it a little easier. That's kind of interesting. I sometimes you're like, did they do it on purpose? And I'm like thinking, yeah, they put everything here on purpose, right? I don't know. How like, do you know what's on purpose? I mean, they have to play test the levels, right? Be like, yeah, that's a choice I like. Uh, yeah, I guess. So what makes I don't them know. not on purpose? I mean, like, this was a kind of ragtag team. Like, Sandy was was not a computer game developer and was brought on like two months before they shipped Doom One to make two thirds uh -oh. of the game. Um. I chose the wrong so, way. so I don't know, like, how. Oh, that was a teleporter. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna die. I'm walking around. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Yep, more slime over here, too. There's another teleporter. Are you trying to make fun of me? I would never. Cool. Oh, yeah, this is another cool Why space. Why up here? Because, uh, you can, like, run all the way down them. And it feels pretty cool. Just to, It just feels like a really big, broken staircase. And it's, it's for a very big video. It takes you to this, like, sort of just off to the side little thing that feels like a secret. It might be a secret, I don't remember. Or it might be required progression. Oh, it takes you into this building. Ah! <laughs> no! No! What? What? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know why the chainsaw sometimes does that. I think it might be a bug. It's cool. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, that went okay. Maybe use big shotgun. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna... This is so weird, because, like, you're, I'm used to sandy maps being mostly, like, kind of hellish textures. Especially, like, the kind of weirder ones. But this is just metal paneling. So it feels like some, like, factory workroom or something. Um, and yet, yeah, it's full of just goofy, sandy things happening. I love that that little, they slowly trickle into the teleporter. Oh, it's so annoying. But it's it's away from you, so it only happens if they happen to like bump into the wall and turn and run into it. I love stuff. Very nice. I do like stuff. Pretty good. Okay. God, I always worry about map design. Like, what do I, what do I fill the space with? And Sandy's just like, fucking whatever. Make some hallways with buttons that open more buttons. Hallways. Put some pinkies in there, and you're good. That's where you came in, right? Oh, this is around where you died last time. Hey, that would be cool, actually. Mm -hmm. If uh, every dying. No. <laughs> if every time you died in a map, like the next time you played it, there was a little dead player there to mark. Oh, that'd be crazy. Where um, okay, where am wait, I wait, supposed wait. to go? I don't think you went to the right. I don't know what that means. End of this hallway, turn right. Yeah. I thought I did. Oh. Then I guess you didn't go to the left. <laughs> Thanks. I already did that. What? 
What did, oh, are we just done here? What the fuck did any of that do? I don't know. Welcome to the chasm. <laughs> okay, and this is the building I thought we were in. Oh, it probably raised those stairs or something. Oh, this whole building's a secret. Well, that's interesting. All that stuff we just did to like open the secret was not secret. But this clearly accessible space was. That's really interesting. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, Sandy, what should we put in this building? Fucking a maze. <laughs> and and put like a, the girdle of giant strength in it too. Sandy, this isn't do uh, whatever. Put in vulnerability. Uh... Or Megasphere. Gee whiz. Excellent. Took a lot. Imps are endangered. So, I don't know if... Very loud. Killing. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, what if there was an animal that was evil? <laughs> what? Like, yeah, like Sneasel. <laughs> like Sneasel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sneasel's adorable. I don't know what you're talking about. Holy shit! Where are all these men coming from? Fucking human men. Get out of here. I love how they're just, just, like, brown. Like, not, not really a brown that occurs on humans a lot, I think. It's kind of, kind of yellowish, yellowy green. Mm. It's like, I don't know, like they were just in the oven a bit too long. But, but I guess it, I feel like, I don't know, whatever. Apparently those sprites were made by they just took like the shotgun guy and just <laughs> scaled the width up a little bit. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, cool! You found the spot. I like this. Like you don't expect there to be a structure just in the slime. Oops. Oops. Come on. I really like this floor texture too. Just sort of a lit thing in a metal panel. It's very aesthetically pleasing to me. I, I would I would be fine if every key in Is every this level in this, been... this entire game um had a little platform made with that light box. Anyway, I think there's a door just sort of normally up there that is where you're supposed to be going. Where? Turn around. Yeah, just follow this around. And at the end, on the right. Yeah. And it just leads to more. <laughs> Why? Welcome to the chasm. Sucks a little. Uh, if you're kind of like into Doom, uh, you might run into people who refer to this as uh, the chasm, <laughs> which is a hilarious in joke. Why? That I just made up. Oh, I see. Uh -oh. oh crap. What, what do I do then? That's a good question. I guess run really fast. Or maybe maybe there's another way in here. That's so weird. There's just a whole giant door that makes it look like here's how you get it here. Uh and then it's just sort of this ledge that doesn't connect to anything. What? Hmm. Well. What? What then? I don't know. It's kind of looking like there's another way into this room. Somewhere. Into what room? This room you're in. Like, to, to get over there. Because it looks like there's a door off to the right, but... 
This is complete ass. Ooh, this is new. Oh god, two teleporters next to each other. One of them is in the floor. The other is on a platform. Which is the correct choice? Oh, nice. Found something new. Oh, just three of these fuckers just kind of hanging out over there. Oh, I hate it. Nothing else anywhere in this huge ass room. Just them. Oh, I don't like being up here like this. Well, hop down and get them vulnerability, maybe. Uh, okay. Which is like the worst one in the game. Because then you have to wait for this to come up before you can use it. Oh, is it when you get it? Um, it's- I think it's when you step on the platform in the middle, but... I mean, anyone is gonna aim for the invulnerability. Well then. Oh. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. 10 out of 10. I'm holding up a sign that says 10. Um, thanks. It's very good. It's fine. Uh. Well, um, if there are any donations, now would be a good time. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Well, what's even the fucking point? Maybe I should have just not gone it. Anyway, remember when I said you haven't seen nothing yet? Hey, this sucks. <laughs> as long as any part of your hitbox is, is on the beam, it's fine. So you have a lot more leeway than it looks like. But, yeah. Wrong. Oh, also, there was a bug in Vanilla Doom where uh -oh. if, if you saved standing on one of these ledges, when you and your, your center wasn't like on it. Yeah. When you load, you'll fall because it'll be like, what's your center over? Oh, the slime. Um, but then you'll be stuck in the wall. Ah! And unable to move. What do you do? Um, it'd clip out of it, I guess. Crap. Why can't I just fly around? I would love to do that. Because this, this isn't fucking Duke Nukem. Oh my god. Although, What if, the fuck is that? If it were, that would be cool. Oh, yeah, um, I Ew. don't- Congrats, what? you found progression. That wasn't on purpose. Uh, chat is trying to tell you how to walk, but joke's on them. I'm pretty sure I bound the shift key to use. So I don't know how to switch to walking with my setup. I love this this choice of teleporter. One's bad, the other's also bad. Well, one of them goes forward, one of them goes backward. And I don't remember which is which. I wish they'd been like, cons okay, well that's that. I wish they'd been consistent about that through the game, that'd be pretty cool. Welcome to the fucking cybernet. What the f hell? Yeah, so this doesn't connect to anything else in the map. You just teleport in and out. It's just, it's just this. Why? Because Sandy Peterson just does things. It's like, it feels like this is literally like some sort of weird dungeon side quest. Like, by the way, you get sucked into the Lich's virtual reality world and you have to shoot dogs. Oh. And the ceiling is water. Come on, there's so many dogs. I've had enough of dogs, frankly. 
It's kind of sad. I mean, those those dogs were just trained. I mean, not these dogs, which are demons from hell, but um, the Wolfenstein ones. They're just doing what they're trained to do. Um. But but they were biting you, so I mean, I guess it wasn't entirely unreasonable. But well, it's not great either. It's a lot like cockfighting. If it's dogs biting people. <laughs> um. Yeah, but. But when you find, like, cockfighting, I don't think you then shoot them. <laughs> what was the point of all that? I... Uh, you got a red key. Oh, that's right. Now you have to leave somehow. That's probably how. I'm being chastised for unbinding the walk key, but... I got places to be, I don't have time to walk. Is that a door? It is. Is that the red key door? That would be why there's red skulls next to it. Oh! Oh, interesting. You have the red key card, but it's the they use the skull markers. What? What do you mean? Like, there's there's two, like, this is locked styles of indicators. Oh, uh, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Usually they do skull for skull and whatever, for whatever, but they didn't here. Also, this is the coolest door in the game. <laughs> that looks kind of like Texas. Sure does, don't it? Okay, that made me really wary for a moment. Anyway, cool door. Yeah, it's like a tiny airlock. Into this weird, like, slice of nothing, and then an exit door. Could have just made an exit door that was locked with a red key. But no. Wanted to do that. Instead. Well... Anyway, you've beaten the Chasm. Congratulations. Why the Chasm? That took me so long. It took 15 minutes. Yeah, like a million years. Oh, this one's weird. Who made it? I think this was made by, like, John Carmack's Barber or something. What? I might be confusing multiple stories. There is There was someone at id who was, like, John Romero or John Carmack's mechanic or something. Is this her Edison um, yes. What is it? Blood. But bad. Demon blood? I guess. Oh, blood. It just sucks the life out of you? That, I, I like that lore, actually. That's that's good. But yeah, this is, a, this is kind of a weird map. Um. Okay. Oh, JP's here. Hey. Uh, blood Falls was made by Sean Green, one of the testers. Oh. Oh, and it was American McGee who was Carmack's mechanic. Okay. American McGee would later go on to invent Alice. What? He made a game called American McGee's Alice. Well? There's a lot of, lot of dudes in that room. I didn't like that room so much. Hmm. Uh, chat is asking how American McGee ended up with the first name American. And I believe, <laughs> I believe the reason he gave was just that his parents were hippies in the 70s. What? Really? And named him American. Not even America. American. American. This is a cool room. Um, I think there are like several ways to get in this room. I think there's some teleporter somewhere that brings you here. Maybe... Man, pain elementals are a real pain in the elemental. Are they? Is that how it goes? Yeah. I love okay, how this, I believe you. the central feature of this room is the megasphere, and then there's just kind of a key off on a shelf. Oh, crap. Surprise, the blood hurts. I know, you, I know that! I found that <laughs> out! I love, I love the specter in the the pit of lava trope that just they all did it's like the one thing that's really common between everyone's maps they all would just throw those guys down there all Why right go over there? maybe you do need to teleport into here up there from somewhere oh this is one of the maps i have the least memory of i think that green paneling was a door 
What? Obviously. I love these little windows. It feels cozy. Like this is where the demons live. In the little condos. The little demon house. Oh wait, condos are later. Fuck off. I love Get when, out of I here. love when monsters just sort of wander into teleporters that are like convenience and they're supposed to take you back. Alright. Oh, where'd you fuckers come from? Oh, I, I thought the synth music was doing something really weird and then realized that was a car alarm going off outside. This sucks. Sorry, yeah, I'm running out of things to say because I don't know this map super well. Um, this part sucks. Chain gun is good. Gotta get those distance weapons. No, no, no. Gotta, gotta get stuck on this beautiful architecture. I can't, this sucks. And then gotta get shot in the head. I don't understand where to go from here. Uh, I'm just gonna rush ahead. Okay, um, apparently Sean Green, who made this map, has a Wikipedia article, which uh, JP has, has kindly quoted in chat. It is, he has also worked for Gearbox Software, making Halo Combat Evolved, as well as co-founding Escalation Studios, before becoming a Tibetan Buddhist yogi, whose whereabouts are currently known to only a select few. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Can you imagine just being like, I'm done with games forever. Yeah, you know what? Fuck video games. What? This is all awful. I'm out. That owns, actually. Hell yeah. Off the grid. <laughs> hmm. This area is kind of memorable for me. Like, for the longest time, I didn't even realize it was part of this map. It's just kind of marble floor, stone walls, and just flat... KV with torches in every corner. Oh, and there you go. Does that hurt me too? Probably. They were, they were really inconsistent about what hurt. Oh, the, the last room of this map was memorable too. Although, one of those ways where I vaguely remembered it from seeing it as a kid, and then when I actually saw it again, like, 12 years later... Where do I use this? Um, I think you go down the central one? What? This? Maybe? Uh, no. That? I think. I just came from there. Oh. You may have... Oh, no, you're right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you ride the lift up this time. Okay... Yeah... I guess I couldn't put it off forever. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought it was not opening. Yeah, the Revenant can move about three inches, so it's it's pretty good rocket fodder. Whoa! Didn't see that coming. Well, it's cool that they'll just sort of filter towards you. But you are... I think you've taken more damage from yourself so far. Torchy rockets are not my fucking thing. Yeah, also to be fair, the torch hitboxes are like, huge. There you go. Nice. Even some pity health. Thanks. I love Which, pity. I guess I guess all health is pity health in a way. I think that texture was actually just misaligned because it's it's where the well, tunnel thing is. Well, I don't like that room so much. It's just little guys. Yeah, they're like kittens. Well, I okay. With guns. I don't accept that, but. Hold on, I'm just gonna take care of these dudes. 
Oh, that dude's like the color of a coconut. Probably. So, I would say the theme of this map is, I don't know. <laughs> like, obviously we started out with the Blood Falls thing, but kind of much like the pit, we seem to have forgotten about that. Although, I mean, I guess to be fair, uh, as I understand it, like, the mappers didn't name their maps. They just made maps, and then Sandy named everything. Hmm. So, um, who knows what Sean Green would have named this map. Maybe the blood falls were the least interesting part about it to him. What the fuck? That's kind of like a cool return to the the waste tunnels, guys. Those little trap doors. Oh, they are kind of like trap doors, huh? Where did all those come from so quickly? So, do you think, are Lost Souls just like, just made by Pain Elementals, or are Pain Elementals swarms of Lost Souls? Is this a serious question? I'm not sure. <laughs> like, um, like, they come together and like, evolve like Magneton. I feel scared become... by this setup. Oh yeah, I, this is the memorable room at the end. It's, it's less big than I remembered it as a tiny child. But it's um just very oh my very god obviously in a get off my ass dude oh. great yeah that's fine well I got got you tried so hard and you got so far well but good thing you quick saved. I hate that wake up sound. It's like the most terrifying thing in the game. Also, if he's in the middle of attacking someone else and you shoot him, he can switch to you immediately and and be like halfway through his attack or however far he was. <laughs> oh man, I don't think we've even heard that one yet. Oh no! I think they added that in Doom 2. Like, fucking Romero was just like, it would be really funny if you did a really horrible scream if you die horrendously. Which was behind a lot of their design decisions. Holy shit! There you go. I think Archvile takes three and a half uh, super shotgun slash rocket blast. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, that was basically the map, so good job. Hold on, I gotta like... Oh, don't worry, there's nothing. Really? I don't know, but it looks like it. Wow, this room is just barren. That's actually kind of intimidating. Well, how do I do then? Well, there's a button on one of these pillars. Hmm. I think it was to the left of the entrance. Very cool exit. Yeah, so that room, you can just avoid everything, just run in, mash the button, and kind of bail. I wish I had done that. Okay. Oh, we are way out of my wheelhouse now. Uh... I... okay, how did you... how do you like this game so much and you have not... <laughs> I just... tell... just explain this to me. I don't know. I play like other people's levels. It's weird playing the actual game because a lot of it just reminds me of being scared as a kid. And it's like not scary now and I've played maps that are a thousand times harder. But still like, hmm, something's gonna happen. Or like some of the maps felt so huge as a kid that it's like, if I start playing this game- I'll What? What I'll just happened? The whole oh. room's lit. I love that. I'll become trapped in the game for real like Jumanji. That was mean. Oh no! Uh, this is another Romero map, and and yeah, it's all very 
metallic. It reminds me of, like, map, I don't remember, an early one from Plutonia, Caged, which was also very, like, metal with a lot of lifts. Which is cool, it feels like very industrial, like this could be a mining operation, just stuff's moving up and down, that seems like it makes sense. Doing better? Feel free to save scum. Or pop some rockets in there, or... Or chain gun because it's kind of long range. Or we oh, just ignore them. Ignore them is a nice strategy. What? Oh, yeah, also stuff just starts teleporting at times. Oh, Jesus Christ. Attacking each other? Oh, uh, yeah, I think a stray fireball hit that cacodemon. It's hilarious. Been too long. I forgot. Ugh. Forgot about the imp. Supposedly, Cacodemon shoots lightning. Oh, is that thing? Yeah. I don't know. That's cool lore. It's like it's like a pink, purpley, blue ball. It's just really cool looking. And it's kind of sad, like in Doom Three and and more or less in Doom Four, I think. Like it just sort of became generic looking fireball. Fuck! 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 I can't believe you survived that. That thing does a lot of damage. Alright. This is what's called a style save. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I knew it! I knew you were gonna fucking... <laughs> well, this is the cool way of quick save. Or regular save. This is my two health run. Yeah, it's like uh it's like a three heart run in Zelda. I love that single just giant bar in the way. It's so annoying. Whoa! Yeah, as it turns Where? out. Um, I don't know. I guess they're around the corner. Yeah. Imps on ledges that wrap around corners is actually kind of sucks because it's a pain to get them all, and then they just eventually creep out and surprise. Okay, a lot of things just shot you. Where? I don't know. I just heard like four fireballs. What? I didn't do anything though. I don't know this map at all. It would be great if you could get in there. Oh, you can get in there. Oh, that's probably what the button did, huh? huh? What did that do? I have no idea. Is that a button? Oh, it just opens the thing again. Um... Okay. Uh, Alright. I guess that's a door below the floor. Maybe this button will fix that. Okay. What? Oh. This... <laughs> this is quite a map. What, 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 what? Dude! You're like not not nearly suspicious enough of the door opening noise. <laughs> Listen. Like that plays and I feel my fucking hackles go up. Like where? Where? I know it was behind me. Ash is playing. I am just talking a lot. This doesn't even look like it's part of this game. Yeah, this is one of those spots. There's a couple of them. Where it just... I... I don't remember this being in the game at all. <laughs> That's 
a good sound. It is. It's cool. Uh, the Mancubus always fires three times and always in the same pattern. Which is like one at you, one to the right, one at you, one to the left, and then both to the sides. Oh, weird. So if you do like, if you do a little dance right, then, well, against one of them, uh, it's pretty easy to dodge. Damn it. Really? Just buttons everywhere that look like they're part of the architecture. Oh, hey, you have a red key. Oh, okay. I'm sure nothing bad will happen in this room. Oh. Thanks. You were not supposed oh, to jump on oh. his head. <laughs> ah. In the original game, you cannot land on monsters. You would have been unable to make that jump. Uh, BFG, you can take him out in one shot. If you're right in their face. Ooh, nicely done. What does that do? No idea. I did know it was there. I must open something in here. That's such a dick. You survived the trap just to come out to a different trap. Okay. Then what? <laughs> well, now you have a blue key. Um, I don't remember a blue door. I remember a yellow door is the exit. Hmm. Oh, maybe it was Romero that always used yellow keys for the exit. I love the just very goofy stone fixture switch. Yeah, that. Is there a secret in the back of this room? Okay. There was. Thanks. Wow, this is actually a lot of stuff. This feels like there was another way to get here, um, but we just sort of found the secret back way in. Yeah, it does. Oh, dude, one of the maps in Doom 2, the way it did was like that. Uh, there was a secret, like, right at the beginning of the map that I found, and I just started following it, and it was basically an entire, like, second separate map. Really? Yeah, it was like a completely different path that was like totally fleshed out and everything. And then it joined back up, and I realized I was not very far from the entrance. Oh. <laughs> but I'd done a bunch of stuff and found like an, I don't know, extra key or switch or something. It was pretty cool. Hmm. But this kind of makes me think of that. Um... That's just some health and stuff. Did, was that supposed to go somewhere? Oh wait, I bet you can like push something and this pillar will come down to make a teleporter you can jump into. What? It, it kind of looks like that. What do you mean? Push, like push like something. Like a, like a button somewhere, oh. but I don't know where. Hmm. Well, you're probably right. I guess I'll just go into teleporter in a moment. What was that? Oh, I guess that's how you get up here. Uh, that was some cacodemons. Which sound kind of like cheese ball hissing. <laughs> Guys. I heard some lost souls, I thought. I love when they get knocked into teleporters. Um, nice health. Well, what was... I don't know what that was about. Yeah, what was the point of that? It got you a bulk cell. What? Is that another one? Yeah, it was. It's behind you now. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess there's another teleporter that gets you the plasma gun in here. So, is this just a secret? I thought it was connected to something else. But no, I guess it's a secret room that just looks very cool. Can I go over there? Doesn't look like it. What if I tried? Then we will find out. Damn it. You were right. It's so annoying. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess that's the whole point of this. Hmm. 
that's cute. I love that just entire starting room is a lift. It's very goofy. Oh yeah, okay, there's a blue door. <laughs> there's just cagademons hidden everywhere in this fucking map. Get out of here. He's trying. Nice. This reminds me of that place in Tenements. It's like styled exactly the same, where you run down to get the red key or something. And it's an obvious trap, and there's a tiny teleporters poking out from the walls. Remember that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, it was the same same map for Romero. But this is just sort of completely different style. It's much bigger. I don't know, it's really interesting that he sort of... It's almost like a callback to that room he did earlier. That's the large man. Actually referred to in-game, or in, like in the code as Fatso. Oh. Oh yeah, I think Sandy names the monsters like at the end after um, they've been like created. Like the, uh -huh. imp, the imp sprites are named True or Trooper. Oh. Because I think they ended up taking the slot of what was going to be another kind of zombie human. Oh really? But didn't end up being that. Kind of interesting when stuff has like a name of the used in production or whatever. Yeah. Uh, the pistol guys are POS for possessed human. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I heard a teleporter behind you, yeah. Come on. Fucking torch is huge. This is so rude. You did it. All right, yellow key. We're done. This level takes one million years, approximately. Round it up to the nearest million. Yeah. Give or take. Only 67 monsters in this map, too. Is this the right way? I don't remember where to go. Oh, no, it was uh, just off, off a hallway somewhere. Kind of upwards, maybe up here? Up, up, upstairs. Yeah, okay. Get this bar out of here. Phew! And you jump down to the next layer of hell. I did it all by myself. You did. Hard time five minutes, damn. Monster condo. I love monster condo. This sounds like we're just invading dudes in their house it's now. It's such a goofy map. It's funny, I, I watched a... I think it was actually in the Doom to the Way It Did stream. Um, the mapper Tarnsman? I don't remember. He was commenting on how, like, all of Sandy's maps are kind of a gimmick where he has a thing he wants to do gameplay-wise, and mm -hmm. he just builds a map around it. Mm -hmm. And and how he thought that this was the one map that didn't do that. But then he realized that if you open it in the editor, there's, like, every kind of enemy in this map, and they're all just sort of clustered together in single rooms. So it is, like, monster condos. <laughs> of course it's monster condos. It's called monster condos. Yeah. And it's just a cool name, it's a cool theme. It's it's very weird, but it feels like a fitting kind of weird because there's all these bookshelves and stuff that I expect secret passages in. Um, mm -hmm. And the music is really like, like gently spooky, but also chill. It's what not, the fuck? It's not like this map. What was the point of putting all these dudes here? Uh, well, you're in their house. Well, not anymore. Well, 
I mean... No, it's my house. The house is now passed to their descendants, yes. Well, that's me. I'm not sure it is. Mm. Let me let me check the Doom Cannon. Nope. <laughs> there are literally two buttons. Right where? <laughs> right, right there. That's not a button. Oh, by the way, there's revenants in this map. A bunch of them. Hey. I love it. This room is a combination of like stuff that closes permanently and you have to reopen it and just floor triggers that bring that lift down like that and then buttons that do progression and just all kinds of stuff going on oh and there's an arch file oh this is also the map that you can beat in like 20 seconds by using the arch file to open a door uh oh fuck okay I saw it coming this is hard well actually. lucky for you there's lots of other ways to try going. And you do have a couple shots worth of... A couple BFG shots worth of plasma there. Well, true. And lots of shells and rockets. <sighs> yeah, rockets are my favorite. I mean, maybe in close quarters. Not so great, but, you know. Oh, this map also has the worst secret in the game. What? Yeah, it's, uh... There's a secret area that closes 30 seconds after the map starts. It's right there to the left. It's already really? closed. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Like, it's... It's not trivial to get there in time, either. Also, there's a bug. Oh yeah, there's also stuff like this, where the floor just goes down to a door. It's just like, it feels like the architecture is, is working against you, even though the buttons obviously all help you progress. Like, it just feels like it doesn't want you to. I would like that. going well not through that door i guess so probably through this skull <laughs> which is this little depression here yeah oh you don't want baby shotgun you want big boy shotgun That's kind of a neat trap, because it's like the room opens up more as you're leaving it. Yeah. It would actually be cool if there was like just twice as much stuff to do in here after that, but... Clearly that is not the case. And anyway, yeah, just, just a lot of just mad things. Where'd they get that dude from? I don't know, they got like a factory that pumps those out. Ah! Oh, this is... <laughs> this is a room. It is, doesn't it? But, but yeah, it feels like... Even in, like, Doom 4, um, it feels like when you hit a button, it's like, cool, next checkpoint unlocked, and you just go into the next area now. But, but here, it feels like you get kind of scared to hit buttons. Because the whole fucking map might change around you, and not for the better. Yeah, so this room <laughs> just becomes a clusterfuck. Like, the Pain Elemental is now infighting with lost souls. It is spitting out new children at its own children. I love these idiots. And they're practically designed to infight because they both try to zoom towards the same spot, you. <laughs> Also, there is a bug in this map, in this room. Um, really? That, that that sort of ledge up there that opened up and uh, 
let the pain elementals out. Mm -hmm. It's possible to teleport up there without going far enough into the room that that opens. And the teleporter takes you inside it without opening it. And there's no switch on the inside to open it, so you're just stuck in there. Oh, good. Yeah, but normally you just sort of barge in the room like, What's up, guys? And, and run over the tripwire. Oh, yeah, by the way, it's an arch right there. Fuck, fuck. No! Just leave me alone. No! Oh, oh. Fuck! I just don't like this guy. Should have been like one more shot and you would have got him. Yeah, well... Oh, whole room again. Oh, yuck. I have aired. Well, I also <laughs> fucked up there. Welcome to Sandy Peterson. We hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> that's, that's better. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. You were doing a cool little, <coughs> little rocket dance there. I'm dying. This map is killing me. <laughs> You haven't even seen the cool part yet. None, nothing about this is cool. This whole map is cool. Oh. What happened? It circled around and came at you from behind. That's they, they nonsense. Oh, there's more. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> what was your plan? <laughs> nothing. I didn't want to live. I only had so little health. Okay. Why? Because they Why? hang in on you. They Why? follow you. Why? Challenge. This is hell. This is this is the Dark Souls of. It's super not. It's really not. These guys are the Dark Souls of Bloodborne's. Mm. It's cool if you do it just right. You can get one of the rockets just circling around you forever. I don't want that. That's the last thing I want. All right, it's very cool, though. I do like that you don't have to aim super good with the super shotgun. <laughs> That's what the super is for. It adds the super to your aiming. More. Yeah, there's like three of them in there on ultraviolence, too. Ah! Do you need some assistance? Um, no. I'm okay. very skilled at this game, actually. I'm never sure when you have stopped enjoying <laughs> this experience. But yeah, this is map 27, so we're getting we're getting close. Oh, surprise! No, 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 no. Whoops. That was a mistake. Whoops, a daisy. Hell does not forgive mistakes, it only punishes them. Apparently. That's a cool line, actually. What? I totally forgot what you just said. Hell doesn't forgive mistakes, it just punishes them. Hmm. That could be a Doom 5 tagline. <laughs> you laugh. But they're making <laughs> Doom 5. I know! Really? Okay, maybe go around a corner or something. <laughs> Looks like I found the thing you said. Now, is the center also a thing? Oh, I think I think maybe the, the blue door has something that lowers that down. Which is kind of cool. I like, like, multi-stage reveals. Damn it. Now, don't use rockets in here, probably. Oh, 
pains in the ass. Extremely dumb. I love how just dire and melodramatic the decor in this room is. And it was just two pain elementals. Well, it makes them very annoying. It, it does. Oh yes, if you somehow have not got a chainsaw yet... Why do they do that? You might be pistol starting, or you might be playing like deathmatch or something. So like, after the first few levels, basically all the levels have every weapon in. It is cool how how well like a lot of these maps work for deathmatch, just because they're kind of branchy and double back on themselves and stuff. Okay, I remember this sucking. Yeah, um, you can BFG him in one shot if you get right in his face and shoot first. That was not right in his face. Not how to do that. Very bravely, but hey, that worked out. I love the animal scratch wood texture. Oh, that's pretty good. Very good. I'm not sure the archfile has claws though. Mm. Oh, there was a whatever here. Yeah, that's the door where you can get the archfile to run against it, and it moves fast enough that it touches the other side of the door, which is not locked, so it automatically opens the door for you. Oh. What the hell? What's um, the point of that? Um. Something. I thought that room was necessary. I'm pretty sure that room was necessary. Maybe go back in that room. Yeah, hold on. That's where we started. Where am I going? Back in there? Yeah, I thought so. Um, maybe hit the other switch, which opens a lift, like over here. What? We have a switch. The mm, well, now you have to go back around. What? What? Why do you tell me to do a thing without telling me where I'm going? Okay, you already pressed it once, so I thought maybe you'd remember. Sorry. There are two that. switches. That other one opens a lift near the door. Yeah, that whole section just went down. Or is this a secret? Oh, I think this is actually an impossible secret too, like the teleporter pad itself is a secret. Um, uh. Yeah, this is how you get up there. Um, no keys. I guess it's only necessary after you get the red key then. I don't know where the red key is. So you better find- wait! Yes I do. But okay. I don't- I know what room it's in, I don't know where that room is. Also okay. I might be wrong about what room it's in. Okay, so you know nothing. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> First of all, well, I don't know, find some stuff you haven't hit or done yet. Okay, I was trying to do that. Okay, well, we need a yellow key also. What does that button do? Ooh. Ooh, how mysterious. Oh, it left, brought something down over there. You hit it and then look over to the left. Cool. Why do I need that? I don't know, you don't. You have full rockets. Hope everyone's enjoying my highly informed commentary where I don't remember the last few maps of the game at all. Well, where the hell? Okay, we now have found every door and no keys. Ah. Uh, okay, well... This game is not solved. I guess... Oh, actually that library room with the archvile and a lot of gun dudes, that might have a key in it. I don't... Ba I... Back at the very beginning. I yeah, don't... I wanted to go look at the beginning. Oh. Okay, do that then. Where is that? Uh, this way. Yeah. I do like... Like, the chasm did this too. I like that this has like... It, I mean, it's basically like a hub with a lot of rooms coming off of it. But there's two of them. And and it's just a, just a door leading into an adjacent room that also has a bunch of rooms in it. 
And something about that design is cool, like, I don't know, it, makes, it divides the whole world in half. Uh, light amp goggles. What does that do? That ribbon is a lift. Like, most of the walls in this entire room are something. Wait, you mean what do the light amp goggles do? Yeah. This. But like... In the original game, they just made it full bright. This is a, oh. a GZ Doom thing that kind of makes them like night vision goggles. That door does not open. Oh yeah, you have the Blur Sphere, which is good against dudes with guns because uh, you can't accidentally strafe into their shots when they miss. Nice. Yeah, this effect is kind of cool. I don't know, my problem with like the original Fulbright effect is that it makes every map look like to complete ass. Cause, really? Yeah, th this game kind of relies on the like darkness and, and shadow and things get darker the further away they are and all that stuff. A lot of the atmosphere, and if you just Fulbright everything, it's like, well this is just just like three flat walls made <laughs> of the same repeating texture, obviously. There's like... <gasps> oh! I don't know, I mean, everything being kind of mint green is not ideal, but it has a little personality to it. And it's kind of like medium-high brightness instead of full. By the way, there's an arch cloud right there. There's no, an no, no, invulnerability no, 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 no. spin in here somewhere. Oh, you got it. Excellent. Now's a good time for rockets. Or plasma, that's fine. Ew. Oh, that's solved. Oh, <sighs> shit. We have one shell. Um, that's rare. I love they had to put in just specific programming for you have one shell left, so you can't use the super shotgun. Very annoying. Ah! Dude, come on. Don't pop me. Where'd that one guy come from? Oh. Did you get a key? You got the yellow key. Excellent. I think that button just brings it back down if you get stuck up there. Okay, um... Cool. Wasn't there something else? Um... I guess not. I think you got everything. In this room. Oh, back to it's really dark. Yeah, a bunch of these. Oh, nice. Damn. Gotta find some dudes to shoot. Where do I even go? Um, you got the yellow key. We can go back in the other room. And Where is that? Um, around over there across this pit. Uh oh. Uh, you can do kind of a run and jump or off top or many ways. Oh. Switch. There's a switch on the thing. There. Right there. It was like raised up. I cannot see it. There you go. Also, I did just realize this night amp or um, sort of night vision thing does make it a bit look like you have a radiation suit, which is not great. Yeah. Where is the yellow thing? Oh. Uh... That's blue. Oh, is it? No, this is red. It must be through that other door. It's in the, the sort of pit. Oh my god, what other door? There's five billion Over there! Over here? Yeah. I guess. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes! Favorite room. Uh, that's another downside to the invulnerability thing. Oh, that one? Oh, there's a blue key. Okay. Purple key. 
is that it makes it impossible to tell the key colors uh -oh. apart. What? Yeah, there's this this room is like duplicated. Wait, what do you mean? Like this is a separate copy of the room. Uh, and it has basically the same stuff in it, but you uh, um, pretty much skipped all of it the first time around. Oh yeah, also, in Vanilla Doom, it's impossible to get 100% items on this map. Because both copies of this room have a secret auto map in them. And the original game won't let you pick up an auto map if you already have one. Oh. For some reason. I just look at that and I imagine Sandy going, You see before you three paths through the <laughs> lava. I do a perception check. One of them has a red strip <laughs> along the bottom. Is it a secret door? It absolutely <laughs> is. I solved the riddle. I love that these maps just give out power-ups like candy too. Although the blur sphere is... Not, not the best one, but yeah, they're j just fucking everywhere. I love the marble face cube also. <laughs> face cube? Yeah, it's just uh, when they use that to make a cube out of face. Okay, blue key, right there, right there. That door is blue. Maybe BFG. You're invulnerable, so it doesn't matter. Okay, all up close and personal. Nice. And I assume that is the red key. Where the hell do I go with this? In that uh, side door right next to you. Door. All right. Door. This one? Yeah. Down here where the archfile was is the red door. Down here? Yep. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> 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 you did it you found the red teleporter which only works if you're holding the red key and that's the exit <laughs> do you want a fizzy water um you already had like two today. Yeah, but I want a third. Oh, so that's all you asked. Yeah, because I'm about to go get one. You are no, remember you said you were only having two. Mmm. Yeah, remember? I don't know. However, you got a soda drink. <gasps> that's true. Do you want your soda drink? Um, I'm gonna take a sip of yours. Okay. The spirit world. This is an interesting map. Hmm. Suspicious. I need a yellow key at the beginning. This is dramatic. This reminds Dirty me of the music, music from the Wolfenstein secret level. Oh, yeah. Is it the same music? I don't know. Also, that reminds me of the, uh, the intermission music uh, that plays on the sort of how long you took screen at the end of each level. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like a good like 40 seconds long. Mm -hmm. And that, that third secret map that um, whoever put in the, the Xbox release uh, use the intermission music as their level music, <laughs> which is really weird because it, it, it goes on longer than you expect. Fuck, dude. All right, I bought a mystery soda at a candy shop. Let's try this out. Oh, what the fuck? 
What's it like? That's weird. It's citrusy, but it's not sour at all, and it is more bitter than I expected the seltzer to be. Hmm, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad, but... Hmm, weird. And yes, last episode we did do the secret levels. But only two of them. I don't have the third one. Which is kind of... Mm, ah. It looks like it was made by a teenager in 1994. Which it was. I think. It was called Betray. Also, they made some other console port of Doom based on Xbox Doom, which still had the level in it. But they removed the trigger. Oh no, it's the other way around. Like there was a version where they took the level out, but the switch to get there still worked. But since there was no secret level there anymore, it just restarted the same level. Oh. Where the hell? How do I get out of here? It's very weird and cool. It's the blinking thing. Where? Oh wait, maybe that blinky thing on the left. You can drop down that gap. Why would I want to, what? Why? That's where the rest of the level is. What? Yep. That's just how we roll in the spirit world. What are you talking about? In fight time, lure them around. How? Well, they try to follow you, so just like go around the corner. Oh yeah, there's also two of them. Oh, there's a bunch of plasma behind you. Uh-oh. And two more invulnerabilities. have a lot of rockets and another invulnerability out there. Ah! <laughs> this is your first shot of that face, I guess. That good old texture. Very bad. Just many faces stretched onto a some kind of conveyor belt pillar. Oh, very cool. Oh yeah, this 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 is the stream killing texture. <laughs> Oh, the fucking stream up. Yeah, the fire blue. It's clogging up the stream with unnecessary detail. <laughs> you can actually hold the button down and it'll just keep firing as fast as it can. Cool. All right, we gotta go through uh, Fire Blue Room before this wears off. Fuck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a Sandy map because who else would do this? Also, who else would do the stuff you have to do in this room? A throne. Chaz talking about No Rest for the Living, which was an extra pack of some number of maps released for Doom 2. Um, I think maybe what did that do? only on console or something. Well, you gotta stand on it. Ow. And now, solve the puzzle. Did it. Fucking serious? Surprise! There's an archfile also. No! And two invulnerabilities in this room. How do I get them? One of them is just like on the floor. Oh no! no! <sighs> you 
You saved right next to the spot. Oh, that's right. What? I love these like lava walls too. It feels like you're just fucking deep in the earth. Especially since you got here through like a crevice. Yeah, the tricky thing about luring these guys together is both of them, while they can see you, will just stop and just shoot. Yeah. Also, they won't infight if you hurt them. Uh-oh. This hitbox is giant, yeah. Well... Crap! I cannot do this dream with this much health. You can do it with an invulnerability, which is somewhere... When you hit one of the buttons... Just hit the good one first. I don't remember how to do this. Wait, okay. Which one? This one? I don't remember. Nope. Other one. There is a third invulnerability. Oh, you need the yellow key to get back up to it. Fuck. Uh, crap. Fuck off! <laughs> oh my god! Whoops. Well, I'm so sorry, stream. We are trapped in this map, in this room, forever. Okay, what did that do? It opened a door somewhere to the side. Yeah. Oh, yellow key. Cool. Surprise! <laughs> I'm sorry. This is Sandy being actively mean now. <laughs> yeah, that was, um... You know, I'm just gonna look at this for a moment. Yeah, let's just enjoy these faces. It's a little messed up. Whose faces are these? You know, the souls of the damned or something. Hmm. That's suspicious. How is this secret you need to do this to get anywhere? Okay. Well, <laughs> you could get the yellow key and then go back for that invulnerability. <laughs> I know. I could do that. Hmm, let's try it out. I'm not sure if you even use this key, like, anywhere else. It might just be to get back up here. Oh, you didn't pick up on that plasma either. I love it. More than you can carry at once. Really? 
Yeah, there was like seven of them. Oh. Let's go, Cool S. That's your sidekick name. <laughs> sidekick? Yeah. Mm. I guess you are the one playing the game. This would be a good time for BFG, which you just filled up. Pretty cool. There's another invulnerability for free. Did I get lowered at the that point? Don't remember. Maybe when the pillars came down, yeah. Hmm. I don't know where the teleporter goes. Who knows what anything does. Oh, fuck. Which one's what? Uh, that. Don't get that. That's another invulnerability. Wait. I don't remember which one it was. Which one do I get? Get the one on the right. Okay. When you vaguely gesture with your finger, that Sorry. doesn't do much for me. I forget you have a very different perspective from me at the moment. Suckers. Freak of. How is that a secret? <laughs> the thing literally walks out of it and shoots you. Yeah. Alright, now that's just a big spine. I guess. Ew. The souls of the more damned. This level is very long. I like I like this texture, this kind of like white gray thing mm -hmm. that looks like it could be a texture or it could be like mold or or something. I'm like back movie. here. That's a secret wall. Yep. I could have gone there the whole time. Yep. You for real? Yep. And I have no idea what you do now. Well, I got the key, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a door at the beginning. Was that yellow? Yeah. Oh, well that works out. You were getting the drink. Surprise! Mm, I don't like that. I do like these meat shields that they give you to absorb these rockets. I don't love the tiny trees they give you to get stuck on. Oh, nice. Invisidog taking care of business. That's true. Where the heck is the beginning? Back the way you were going. Wait, that way? Yeah. I didn't see shit. Where? We keep going. I guess this texture makes everything look very the same. Yeah. <laughs> what? Ha! Ah, surprise. All that's in this room is a key. Oh, fuck. I think that's an exile sound for skeletons. Which one? The punch? Or no, the. They're falling apart like that. Oh. I would not be surprised if exile used the same sound pack. Yeah, it's a yeah. very popular one. Like I remember this room. This room's weird. Oh, nicely done. I what? wonder what what? Will happen. what? 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 I can't believe you did not suspect that would be a trap. What? What? Okay, like the whole fucking game is that. I know, like we just had like seven that were just unprompted. I thought you were now at the point where you'd assume everything is trapped. What? Especially the hell? In empty room. <laughs> like every two feet is a trap. Like I don't have. There's there's buttons in in there. Those things, those alcoves. Oh. What do the other one do? Okay, well, those are just the light switches. Mm, I guess they need lights and health for some fucking reason. But only in like 1% of the rooms. Yeah. Was this the way I'm going? I guess. I don't even remember if this room is necessary. Also, you're trapped you're in here now. Fucking serious. The nice thing is, that guy is basically a turret who will hit everyone else trying to hit you.
That wasn't too bad. Yeah, but I got low okay. health. You're back to I think I think this texture oh that candle marks a secret for you. Oh nice. Just when you need it. That's true. Just what I needed. Ah. I think uh this might be the only map that uses this texture. <gasps> ah! Yeah, that's definitely an exile sound. Or I think they use an invernum too. So that was just stuff. Okay, well... Where's the fucking red door? That one I'm looking for. No, no, not that one. Hmm. Chat says, a what sound? Uh, they said an exile sound, like from the game series, Exile. Oh, yeah. Which exile. Was, uh, and a Vernum. Yeah. Which were like uh, pretty cool 90s kind of Windows 3.1 era RPGs. Yeah. That have been re released a couple times to make them still playable. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, okay. Where do I go for the red key door? I don't know. If you've seen it, it might show up on the map as a red line, which is like a, an extra. Z Doom thing. I don't remember how it turned in, turned on. I don't see it. Um, arrow keys. Uh, uh, no, I don't even see the the other door we opened down here. Where do we go then? Uh, I don't know. Somewhere, yeah. I guess. Run around and look for some door. Okay. Uh, I'll go back that way. This music just keeps escalating. And it's the same switches. Yeah. Really? Okay. Nothing in there, really. I already did that. Why are door colors not on the map? I don't know. Well, I guess it's not that way. I guess it's back in the underground. Yeah. The fucking Mines of Moria over here. I love none of this hurts you either. This just circles back. Well, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Turn around. Is that a door on the right? No, the, the thing that is not like the wall texture. What? This? This is fine, yeah. No. Oh. Huh. Oh. Really? Mm-hmm. Um... Now I'm back out here! I'm clearly missing something. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go back down here again, just in case. Yeah, what's on the left here? Well, almost everything is dead. So it can't be that much more. There is a room I'm pretty sure is in this map, but that we haven't seen. Okay, chat says that spine thing was a door. Wait, really? Yeah. I just hit it wrong? Yeah. So there's something going on in that room. Hold on, I wanna look in. Where was it? Over here? Oh. Uh, so you gotta click on something else, I guess? How do I get it open? I don't know, maybe hit all the... the... yeah. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, okay, and that's the exit. Fuck off! Oh, right in his dumb face. Oh, well, I guess that's how you open that. <laughs> Is there another? No, that's a revenant sound. Which one revenant? Good question. I wonder where they could be. Oh, surprise. In the floor. It's kind of funny, um... 
that became like almost a staple of map. I mean, it kind of still is uh, because mappers figured out how to make an invisible hole in the floor. Oh. Like that was almost invisible. It was just textured the same. Yeah. So you couldn't really see it. But yeah, you can do in completely invisible ones. And so uh, raising them directly out of the floor really fast is is a kind of a common thing. All right. Push your foot out away. Um, okay. Yeah, just, you know, really can you to find All right. PB pace. <laughs> <laughs> How close am I? This is map 29. How many are there? 30. Next map is the final oh. boss. Wait, really? Yep. Oh my god, are you serious? You now this map is cool because in Romero's um um like beta release thing, this map wasn't done yet. It was like a third finished. And it was basically he just made this huge room of like blood lava in the middle and and then just started making stuff around the edge. So he just only gotten part way around the edge so far. Which is really cool. Ah oh, crap. Whoops. Those are really cool looking teleporters. What the fuck is that? That's a dude, um, chained to a marble wall. Those are some shells slightly inside a wall. Mm hmm That's a mysterious switch. What a fucking surprise. <laughs> Monsters. Who knew? In this game. Okay. But, uh, yeah, this is like a, a pretty linear level, except I guess one notable part. Wait, really? Um, yeah, and it just sort of like, just stuff unfolds forward. So it, it feels kind of intricate because it's a lot of these little like small mini contained rooms. Um, but it's still like you rarely get lost. So it feels like you're just sort of like accelerating ahead to the next map, which is the end. They actually made really effective use of Cacodemon in these, um, these sort of big open maps where they can just float around and chase you wherever. No, no, no. Is that a button sound? Um, good question. But yeah, there've been there've been like a couple little like diversions and stuff, but you haven't really had to like hunt for anything so far. It's been kind of leading you forward. Hell wants you to do this final confrontation. It's that you had to. It's it's waiting for you. That's my lore. Thank you. I needed the supplementary lore. It's my fan lore. <laughs> my my floor. 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 See, um, oh, oh, come on! Surprise! <laughs> What's with the fucking dudes? <laughs> this map is still only eighty-seven monsters, whereas again, 
a lot of modern maps are like 220, like why? with shocking consistency. Where? Why? I don't know, because people just want to make really big, intricate, just things. Okay, well. What now? Uh, wait for the bridge. What bridge? That bridge. Oh. And it's taking its time. Oh, I see. Oh, chat says I should show you a slaughter map later. What is a slaughter map? Um, well, you remember in, um, suburbs where stuff just started teleporting in and there was just a big clusterfuck? Uh, yeah. Slaughter maps are just big clusterfucks. Oh, um, that's not... It's, that's not a video game? It's like, here's some guns, and here's way too many enemies. Have fun. I love that fucking just dick there. I'm gonna get him, you guys. <laughs> They'll never see me coming. <laughs> Fucking Stan made fun of me for just hiding around a corner, but you know what? <laughs> See who's fucking laughing when I eat Doom Guy. What? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Timmy's talking about Lilith, which is um, a map set? I'm, I'm not sure how many maps it is, but it's designed to like cause a lot of bugs in the software renderer. So it like fucks up how everything looks. It's like going to fucking Minus World or something. And I guess I guess it made uh, Graf Zal, the guy who who does GZ Doom this one, uh, mm -hmm. made him mad because it relies on bugs or whatever. And and he does not he doesn't allow any fun. Uh, Gaming is a very serious affair. Oh. Uh, I totally forgot about the thing where people take video games seriously. Well, he takes video game programming seriously, which is... Oh, is that better or worse? I wanted to go over there. Well, you didn't. It does, uh, it does seem like that's a thing you're intended to do here. There's probably more buttons. Where? Um... Was there Already something on the right? did that one. Oh, wow, that was lucky. Nice sim. I really gotta get health and safety on, on this tiny-ass little bridge across this lava. Yes. There's no reason for that. What did that button do? Oh, good question. That seemed like the goal button. I wish it had been a, mo a lot bigger to indicate, hey, this is the, the big one. Oh, that's stupid. That feels like a fucking, like... It uh, feels like where's the jump button? It feels like Link's Awakening, the fucking toggle floors, and you do a bunch of just ridiculous acrobatics to get to a room finally and the toggle floors are the wrong way and you're like, uh... This is back near the start, yeah. Where the hell am I going, honestly? Other uh, way, this is backwards. Really? Yeah. I don't know how you get that plasma. Hmm. Oh. That's very nice. I love this stupid staircase that gets tinier in that and really more tight corner. Annoying. Yeah. Okay, so. And then we were over here. And then there was a choice of three rooms. And we mm -hmm. couldn't do- we just did the second one. What was in the first Pearl, one? Pearl, I will die if you keep standing there. Pearl, come here. Oh, okay, I guess this opens. Hey, Pearl. Pearl. Pearl? Well, the stream can't see, but I would like them to know Pearl is very cute. True. And soft and lovely and talented. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, fuck you. It's Just naked fuck fireman. You. Just fuck you. Oh. No, Aww. fuck. God. I hate those. Very bad. Well, they are motherfuckers, so... I guess that's reasonable. 
and they're very fast. And, yeah. And they set you on fire, basically. Is there a button behind that button? I really hope there is, because it looks so much like there should be. Oh, god damn it. Well, there's a berserk, which is kind of secret. But... Okay, but like, what does that ever do for me? Well, it bumps you to 100 health. Yeah, I guess that's Alright, so what'd that actually do? I don't know, you pushed a button. Oh, wait, yeah, go down. That that bridge is up now. Ooh. Ooh. I love that little altar that, to that button. And that probably let you go in the third area. Wait. Areas, yeah, if you like leave. Remember that thing I was talking about was like the Link's Awakening toggle, toggle floor? Mm -hmm. That's probably down now. I think that's what that button did. Over there? Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> There's just a squiggle on the floor. Wait, I don't, don't want to do bars. I'll just do a fucking weird lump. BFG can take him out in one shot. What? Damn, short range teleport. Just doors happening. I only had two notes available for this song. And both of them are like, great. Sorry, three minutes. <laughs> yeah, but it's very, you know. Mellow. It's very what? <laughs> it's it's very Hold on. Yeah, I'll stick with mellow. That sounds good. I don't even know what gun to use. That's not bad for distance. stupid jump. Now take your pick. I think the correct choice is I'm not sure. Middle? I love how this this room like is not really related to the big circular Crap! crater thing. Rude. Um, but it, it's just sort of tangent to it with these huge windows. Like this doesn't feel like they're connected. They just sort of like look into each other. And it's I don't know. It's very cool. Well, I'm what guessing happens? you need to push some buttons. I don't know what stuff in there you actually need to do. What the fuck did that do? Great question. Is that a lift? Okay. It crushes me right into the ceiling. <laughs> that would be mean. Okay, so you can jump back in. <laughs> I love. Nice sprite. Yeah, I love just that happening. Like I said, in the original game, you could not look up or down. So, like. Handling of sprites at an angle was not a concern. I believe it. But, oh yeah, this is... I made reference earlier to, like, there's one room where it's not really linear. And I guess I guess the last set of three rooms was like that too, but... But also this, yeah, where you have three indistinguishable options. Uh, but yeah, even that 
set of three rooms the last time. Oh, that's a lift. Okay. Was basically linear. The order just wasn't obvious. But I think you still had to do all of them in the correct order. You just had to figure out what that was. Nope. <laughs> Nowhere near. How could I know Nice that? try, though. Well, I, I, I thought you were going to get it, actually. Is there any left? I got a water bottle over there. I know, but Pearl's on you. Yeah, but you can grab it if you're thirsty. I cannot. I'm sitting here. Okay. I love the Hell Knights. Like, these guys were the boss of Doom 1 Episode 1. And, really? Yeah. Just, you had to just fight two of them. Um, but they have a lighter colored recolor they added in Doom 2. That has like half the health. Hmm. Cool. Okay, where does that leave? Not much. Almost everything is dead. Okay. The exit is right there. Nice. Oh, I was not gonna fight that if I didn't have to. Yeah, that's like the only Cyber Demon in the game that's like kind of a legitimate fight. Really? Uh, yeah, I think most of the others are kind of puzzling. Like, there's the one you, you make in fight. Oh, there's the one in the super secret level, but that's that's a secret level. It doesn't seem like it counts. Anyway, here you go. This is the final level? Final boss. Oh, of course. Just in case. Map made by Sandy Peterson. I don't know if he made the like design for the boss. Um, I do know that on the map, although you probably can't see it because you haven't seen the line, but there's just a line out in the void, not attached to any room. And I have no idea how that happened. Well, here we go. Hmm. If you look, this is actually misaligned. There's like a gap between the horns. Is this the thing I'm supposed to shoot? Was I supposed to shoot that? This is a puzzle boss. I will let you discover the puzzle for yourself. What is this again? Gives you 100 health. By the way, each one of those cubes spawns an enemy, so you might want to hustle. Wait, what? Really? Yep. And it launches a cube every time it makes that noise. So this room is about to get real unfriendly. Hold on. Also, it can spawn arch vials. Ah. Uh, hey, I don't like this so much, actually. Uh, yeah, infamously, the line when you beam into the room is... Yeah, the infamous line in unintelligible garbage. It's, to win the game, you must kill me, John Romero. Are for real? Yeah. Um, I, I think it's even his voice. Um, because... What does this do? That? Well, you'll see in a second. It, it's lifting that pillar in the middle right there. What do you do with that? Well, it's a lift. What? Oh my god, this is so annoying! Uh, what am I- Okay, this is just super annoying. Is the whole thing gonna be like this? This is the only room. This. Okay, you, when you call it a thing. puzzle boss, 
that makes me feel like <laughs> when you call a puzzle boss, it makes me think you're talking about an actual puzzle and not like it makes me think you're talking about a gimmick. Uh, I would say it's a gimmick. No, but I mean, if you're if you're supposed to shoot stuff, then I don't think it counts. Okay, well, you shoot this boss. Yeah. So like, what? Oh, wow. I haven't seen that since I was like 13. I've seen what? I don't even know what just happened. Um, one of the cubes landed on you and the monster spawned and that telefragged you. Uh. So yeah, this, this map is uh, just kind of unfair, but it has spawned a whole genre because every single map pack has to end with this fucking boss. Are you serious? Yeah, it doesn't actually have to, but, but people do it anyway. Why people do it? I, I don't know, because it's very dramatic and people like using the thing. Uh, I can't come down until it's gone all the way. Fuck! That whole thing is a lift. What? Uh, yeah, anyway, so the actual boss is John Romero's head on a stick. Is it? Yeah. I, I think the story goes... Um, the, like, some, some, one of the other programmers and artists were, were goofing around and decided to, uh, just... How do you do this? Just make... Do you shoot it? No. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I don't get what you're supposed to do. Do you want me to just tell you? Yes, I don't want to solve this. Okay, you shoot rockets into its brain. You have to shoot rockets specifically? Yep, because it relies on splash damage to hit John Romero's head on a stick. So what's the point of the platform? Just to be up there? It's because you couldn't mouse look in original Doom. So you had to like ride the platform and shoot at exactly the right time because top of the platform is too high. Uh, they have to kind of get in there a bit, so you might have to go on the platform. Oh, this is so... Why would he... <sighs> anyway, yeah, the, the splash damage hits John Romero's head on a stick, and when he dies, the level ends. And, and I think the artist put that in first as a joke, um, but then Romero found it, um, and so he added the voice clip. Oh, that's or, or something like that. It was it was like a multi-wave thing, and so it's just a, a goofy Easter egg. And you can like no clip back there and see his head. But yeah, the hint is that there's a box of rockets on the platform. Anyway, um, so so this is the one thing in basically all Vanilla Doom megawatts that is completely broken by mouse look. But I think that's good, because doing this without mouse look fucking sucks. Gotta get them in there. Luckily, having a zillion guys means they mostly infight a lot. Yeah, also the explosions are awesome. Not off enough? Center. Yeah, that was the ending. Oh! And, uh, Oh my god. And that's it. That's basically all of Doom 2. Wow. Let's see my ending. Read it. The horrendous visage of the biggest demon you've ever seen crumbles before you after you pump your rockets into his exposed brain. The monster shrivels up and dies, its dashing limbs devastating untold miles of hell's surface. You've done it. The invasion is over. Earth is saved. Hell is a wreck. You wonder where bad folks will go when they die now. Wiping the sweat from your forehead, you begin the long trek back home. Rebuilding Earth ought to be a lot more fun than mooning it was. What? That's a weird last sentence, actually a bit. Is it? Yeah, yeah, like he, he never makes out like he has enjoyed murdering all these things at risk of. But his why? Life. Why frame it as fun? That like implies that ruining it was fun at all. Um. Uh, well, I... well, it wasn't. It's like it's it's called dark humor. Uh. 
And now you get the zombie man. The cast. <laughs> Shotgun guy. Heavy weapon, dude. Imp. Just demon. What's up? Kraken demon. Oh, oh my. Baron of hell. Oh, they're very bad. Arachnotron. Pain elemental, huh? I love you. <laughs> oh, I hate these guys. Mickey Mouse is such a stupid name. <laughs> is it? Yeah, Incubus and Succubus, one of them already is supposed to be a dude. I know, so, I don't, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, no, I'm just <laughs> saying, like, man, it's like, okay. It doesn't really seem to bear much similarity to, similarity to the lore of, of Succubus Incubus. Because it just shoots giant fireballs, which isn't really what they do. Uh. So, I, I don't know. I trust that Sandy Peterson found the actual name of a demon or something. I don't know. Not me, Incubus. You think he just took Incubus and was like... This needs to be manlier? Yes, I do think man that. On it. Like it's a man razor. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's definitely an exile sound effect. Oh fuck, that's I think I know yeah, I know you. You mean. recognize it? It's when you're casting like fireball or something. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Ah And this is it. It will just do this forever. Really? Yeah. This is your credits. Yeah. Just this. Yeah. What else would it be? I... Okay. This... I guess... That's how it be. Hi, Annis. Do you want to see John Romero's head on a stick? Yeah, I do. Excellent. One second, I gotta blow up the dude again. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's so weird because it uses the super shotgun shoot noise, but without the reload. All right. Uh, I put it on freeze mode so he wouldn't wake up and be a dick. Um. So the rockets go in here. They go in this chamber and they hit John Romero's head on a stick. Oh my god. He had long hair. Yeah. Huh. He might still have long hair, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, it's um, still frozen. Hang on. There you go. Oh, you're no puppy. <laughs> still no? Oh, there you go. What? Yeah, they even gave him a pain frame. Even though you can't see it. Even though you can't see it. Uh... Well, I only have like three things. Because I didn't grab all the weapons in the beginning. There you go. Why is that not hitting him? Oh, maybe his sprite is actually really small. They gave it a goofy height because you were never supposed to meet him. Wow. Anyway, yeah, he's what actually does it, and killing him also generates all the explosions that, that show the, they've hard-coded to appear like 256 pixels in front what? of him. What? Yeah, it's really goofy. Like, the, the whole skull thing, that's just wall textures. It's nothing. Oh my god, that's so goofy. Well, we did it. We did do it. We destroyed the source of the alien invasion, John Romero. Apparently. Um, I guess it's time to go, huh? Yeah, I, I guess that was that was Doom 2. Hmm. I don't know what I just played. It was a video game. I do give it a rating of video game. Okay, how many video games <laughs> is that out of? Two. This is Doom 2. Okay, but... <laughs> 
But but you only gave it one. <laughs> well, but it's out of two. Hmm. So I got one video game. <laughs> I don't know if I like this rating of 50%. <laughs> Maybe it should be 50% more videos. What are you saying? <laughs> well, next time, I guess you can play Doom 2 the way it did, or any of another three and a half million levels that have been made for this game in the past 25 years. I think we can find another game to play besides just Doom maps. I disagree. Well... Respectfully. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can find something. <laughs> There's gotta be games on itch. Well, the reason so far we've only played Z Doom and Emulator is those are the only games I have installed on my computer. <laughs> um, You're a games hermit. Yeah, I can't play anything newer than 2003, actually. Or you disintegrate. Yeah. Well, I want to. I wanna play. Oh, well, nothing right now, because I'm tired as hell. But, uh, yeah. I want to play games on Itch or something later. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, it would be cool if we could figure out a stream setup for, like, where the TV is. I don't know how that would work exactly. Yeah. That would be nice. Also, we gotta finish Umineko. Okay, I'm not streaming Umineko. That will take oh, 70 God. hours. It took us, like, 12 hours to get through Chapter 1 of 8. So what? We can drag everyone else to hell with us. That game happens, like, in real time. It takes as long <laughs> to read as it takes for time to pass in the game. It's... Oh my god. I know! I feel like I lost a month of my life just to the first chapter. Uh, it's... I don't know if I would call Umi Neko a gross, weird man. It's... Well, it is gross, because things happen that are gross. It is weird, so I guess I can't actually argue with that. But I wouldn't put it together like that. Yeah, Umineko is uh, Japanese for ocean cat. <laughs> it's about um, oh my god, yeah, an it gets, ocean cat. It's so slow at first. It's about a bunch of rich people get together to uh. have a rich people fucking committee conference thing. <laughs> It, and it's so boring. And then the kids run off, and they mostly talk about being rich kids. And yeah. it was so fucking mind-numbing until people started being eviscerated, and then it kind of picked up. But True. it took like six hours to get that far. Oh. That's the alarm. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, let's end it here and go to bed. Okay. Well, hope you enjoy the stream. Ash has now beaten Doom 2 more times than I have, probably. He never really, really did beat it. Nope. It would be cool for me to try like a, I don't know, I just do a speed run without knowing anything about Doom speed tech. I just <laughs> fucking load the game, rely on knowing the levels, kinda. Just try to blast through. Ah. Uh, uh, but for now, I guess, I guess that's it. Um, yep. Bye.